Yes, so now we can dis, uh, discuss about uh, the leadership styles. My name is Ganesh and my YouTube channel name is See Your Needs. Yes, so now we can go into the subject that is uh, we are discussing about uh, leadership styles. Number one is uh, autocratic uh, leadership. Autocratic leadership is defined by a top-down approach when it comes to all decision making procedures and policies within an organization. An autocratic leader focuses less on uh, collecting input from team members and tends to make uh, executive decisions that others are expected to follow. That is autocratic leadership. Then the second type is uh, styles of uh, leadership. And the second style is uh, transactional leadership. Transactional leadership is defined by control, organization, and short-term planning. Leadership leaders who adopt this style rely on a system of rewards and punishment to motivate uh, to motivate their followers. As you can see, as you can see, there are many similarities similarities between transactional leadership and autocratic leadership. The main difference is the transactional leadership. as the name implies, involves a clear exchange between the leadership and the team members. For instance, in exchange for compliance and high performance, an employee might be rewarded with a promotion, that is transactional leadership. And third one is bureaucratic leadership. Bureaucratic leadership relies on a clear, clear chain of command, clear chain of command, strict regulations and confirmations, confirmation by its followers. As the name apply implies, this is a leadership style that is commonly found in government entities as well as military and public organizations. Charismatic leadership, then fourth one is charismatic leadership. Charismatic leadership is defined by a leader who uses their communication skills persuasiveness and uh, charm to influence others. Charismatic leaders given their ability to connect with people on a deep level are uh, especially valuable within organizations that are facing a crisis or struggling to move forward. That is the fourth one. And fifth one is uh, transactional leaders, transformational leadership transformational leadership. Transformational leaders create a vision based on uh, identified needs and guide their teams toward the unified goal through inspiration and motivation. The main difference between transformational leadership and the other styles we have covered so far is that this, is one, this one is focused on changing the systems and processes that are not working. Unlike uh, transactional leadership or bureaucratic leadership, which do not aim to change the status quo. Then uh, sixth one is uh, coaching leadership. Coaching leadership is a style defined by collaboration, support, and uh, guidance. Coaching leaders are focused on bringing out the best in their uh, teams by guiding uh, them through goals and uh, obstacles. And then uh, seven one, seventh one is uh, seventh style in leadership is democratic leadership. Democratic leadership, which is also commonly known as uh, participatory leadership, is about uh, letting multiple people participate in the decision making process. This type of uh, leadership. can be seen in a wide range of uh, contexts from businesses to schools to governments. Then uh, another style is collaborative leadership. Collaborative leadership is focused on encouraging people to work <coughs> together
collaborative leadership is focused on encouraging people to work together across functional and organizational boundaries. The purpose of this leadership style is to encourage collaboration with other teams and departments to accomplish shared goals. Servant leadership. Servant leadership puts the needs and well-being of followers first. In other words, these types of leaders adopt a service, a serve-first approach and growth mindset to prioritize their optimization, their organization, employees and community about themselves. And the tenth style in leadership styles is license fair leadership. License fair leadership takes a hands-off approach to leadership and gives others the freedom to make decisions while leaders still provide their teams with the resources and tools they need to succeed. They remain largely uninvolved in the day-to-day -day work. This is a leadership style you will commonly find in creative settings such as advertising agencies or startups due to encouragement of independent thinking.